Hello friends, welcome back to the long dark with your host Rongo the Bold. Maybe up here as well. Let's take a look here. Fusion tablets. Delish. Delicioso. Uh, no. Just, just no. All right. So I want to head out today. Uh, piles of stuff. Um, I would like to head out today with my three bullets. Um, do I have my? No decoys in inventory. What's that? Uh, where'd I put my bow? Did I put my bow here? Alright, what be so heavy? What be so heavy on me? Place to be fine. Living is a night for me. <laughs> I've gone insane. I think I've gone insane. Mushrooms, rose hips. Um, <coughs> I also want to get an achievement for using all the different healings. So that's one of my. Um, what, sorry, one of my to-dos. Uh, all but one. Um, torch got a little bit of goodness left. And Spectre Socks. Alright, now I'm back into slightly better condition. And my bow... Thank you very much. Okay. <clears throat> Sounds a little windy out there. But that's okay. So I want to find... Uh, there's a couple spots here that I have missed. Um, one of them being... Let's see, I'm in the back of the house. Uh, this way. So up. Eh, it's a little chilly. Not too bad. I mean, it'll warm up as the day progresses. So there's that up there. I want to go check that out. And along the way, let's see. Which is the best way to get up there? Let's head over that way and cut up. No decoys. What are decoys? Kind of strange. This far in, I don't know what decoys are. What is this stuff you can drop to draw off wolves? I need to remember these branches are right here. And you are birch or cedar, I mean. Or fir, your fir. Excellent. It's nice to see a fur limb that close. So I'm hoping, I think there's another couple of small buildings up here as well besides the uh, radar dish or errors that <laughs> that thing yeah it's getting not it's, it's cold it's cold not too too bad though. so uh big Thanks out there to Stacy and the Wise Old Geezer 
um, give, give me some good tips on how I could possibly get the three knights out uh, achievement. Wise old geezer was was able to get it, so I'm hoping uh, I'm not gonna get it that way. I'm hoping to follow his lead and uh, camp out again. And it seems like sleeping is not the way to do it. Oh. Let's check this cave out. For antibiotical reasons. Really? Come on. Bastards. Give me nothing. At least it's easier to come back down the hillside. I was listening to uh, a radio show the other night on the way home from New York. And it was about a, a story, well, it was a story, <laughs> about an expedition by a ship uh, in the early 1900s funded by a guy who owned, he was like the third richest man in Manhattan, um, who owned the New York Herald, which was the largest newspaper at the time, and it was kind of a larger than life figure. Anyway, he, he funded an expedition uh, for a bunch of scientists and pseudoscientists to go to the North Pole, basically. Uh, they were searching for what was assumed at that time to be some sort of warm water lagoon there so, for some reason. Who knows what they're thinking. Um, but... Uh, the expedition was actually, it was run by a Navy. It was a really rig rigged up, nice ship um, that was well prepared for the expedition. And they ended up being trapped in the ice for two years and drifting around. Um, drifting around in the pack ice for a couple of years before the ship finally succumbed to the pressure and the hull cracked. And then they had to escape uh, on the ice on foot with their dogs and everybody uh, for about a thousand miles uh, to Siberia. And the reason why I was really interested by that is I was thinking that Hello Wolfie could make a very interesting game. Um, where if you can if you rather than just survival just by yourself basically but you were in a first person world like this but you actually controlled uh npc characters and had to get you know if you could basically the, qu the thing would be to get everybody to safety i was thinking you know that could be really really interesting so I made a, made a few notes, and assuming I ever get any decent at the whole gaming thing, I keep, keep, keep thinking I hear something behind me. Uh, I, I think I could make a really interesting game. You know, a survival game where it's not just survival for yourself, it's survival for a group of people. Signal Hill. Alright, if I were, were I a gate, where or where would I gate at? Alright, so yeah, let me, know you guys, let me know what you guys think of that. I don't want to know about that. Okay, please ammo, please a box of ammo is all I want for Christmas. All I want for Christmas.
why can't I, uh, there we go. That was odd. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't get my lantern out. T. Wow, this place is loaded. Nope, no. No, that's not what I wanted. I could use this. Come on, ammo, ammo, ammo. Dang it. Okay, no bullets under there. Don't see any bolts there. Yes! <laughs> yes! <sighs> now that bear shall be mine. Oh, yes. So much happy. Ah, yes, another round. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Another one. <laughs> oh, this is like oh, the best looting location ever. Oh, and the freaking rifle. Ah, oh, yes. I can't remember. I think it was Neil who kind of mentioned that I hadn't checked this place yet. So if, if it was you, Neil, thank you very much. If it wasn't you, oh my goodness, another box. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This has been an amazing location. Okay, that's everything. As if we needed more. I don't see anything. I don't see anything else. Alright, I want to check. So, tw oh, wow. 12. Huh. Look at that. A full clip. Plus five rounds. And I want to see if the other gun. Not loaded. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, wow. We can now afford a bear encounter. Hacksaw. Break the... Oh, wow. All right. Now we're going to get our bearskin rug. Or our bearskin bear. All right, let's just check the rest of the outside. Just in case there's anything else. Amazing. Uh, yeah, I guess we could have a snack of some sort. Overweighted, so we can't really do a whole lot. Um, we're okay for calories. We're okay. 
10 hours of daylight left. All right, let's head back this way a little bit. Not not horribly a lot, but just enough so we can kind of get a feel if there's anything else that I might have. I just have a feeling that there was a couple of other kind of outbuildings back here that might might bear looking at. The one thing I don't want to do is encounter a bear now out here because I would want to haul it back and obviously it would weigh a lot. <laughs> and it would take me so long to get home. So yeah, that um, anyway, that idea of a multiple NPC survival game is really intriguing me. Um, in fact, it might supersede the single player -y, uh, I, I was thinking of. Just it has so many intriguing possibilities. Wow, it is really freaking cold now. Alright, let's start heading back to the house because we're in blizzard conditions, which is not not good. We're gonna start freezing not too long either. Because it's yeah, minus twenty-four with a five degree wind chill. Let's get down off the mountain. I can't even remember if there's a good way down on this side. I should have gotten back exactly the way I came up. But I thought it was a wolf. Should be okay. We're getting chilled fast, but we're not that far from home. our orchard we set which means tomorrow we'll go out hunting for a bear and hopefully find one not too far away okay, is our orchard on track and we're gonna get back just before we freeze to death yay even though we're not technically cold yet, so. Uh, speaking of, uh, so I'm now in year two. I'm working on a new intro that'll be much shorter, a uh, little intro clip, and also working on a survey 
um, that I'm going to ask everyone to fill out if they've got time uh, to basically kind of plan the year two and the direction of the channel, etc. So uh, hopefully uh, in the next week or so, I'll have that survey on pretty much every video I make and we'll run it for about a month and just get your guys' feedback uh, because I do value your guys' feedback on what, you know, how I play, what I play, how much I play. Um, so I look forward to listening to that, look forward to hearing you guys' feedback. Alright, I'm getting a little concerned about how far... Okay, we're now freezing. That'd be like right here. I stop seeing uh, orchard. Oh, oh. Okay, it's got to be. Where is it? It's right. Oh, I see the car. Okay, so the house is right there. Okay. Woo! Wow. That is some nasty ass weather. Made it in. Extra gun, even though we don't need the extra gun. Um, in fact, we'll go ahead and just drop the extra gun. Um, drop the extra gun here for right now. Where's my. Where's the other gun? Where's the other one? Did I drop it? Not that I really care, but did I drop it? That's odd. Alright, so we got sticks. Reclaimed wood. Let's do reclaimed wood here. Copy it there. We got cedar. Fur. Let's drop the fur here. All right, it is a nasty day out there. Um, okay, more of that, more of that, more of those. All of that, and that, and that. So once we get the, a bear, we are going to be so set. Okay. Going back up. 71. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just break down a bunch of this stuff. I could take a table apart way faster than an hour. Uh, 
I clean the place up a little bit. Wow, how did I get that far down in calories? Delicious salty crackers. Mmm. Alright, well I'm gonna go ahead and continue to just knock apart a few more pieces of furniture and get ready for tomorrow, which will be bear day. So for now, we're gonna call it there. If you guys enjoyed it, click that like button, let me know in the comments what you thought of that awesome freaking rifle rifle find and ammo find. And I'll see you in the next episode. For now, it's been Wrong with Bolt. Talk to you later. Bye.